Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. The Lagos State Government has inaugurated a state post COVID 19 pandemic review committee with veteran Nollywood actress Joker Silva as chairman. Inaugurating the committee in Ikeja, the Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Mrs. Zamat Akimbili Yusuf, I'm sorry if I murdered that name, said the six member committee is expected to draw out suggestions and recommendations on ways to reactivate the industry. The committee was inaugurated to reactivate the tourism, arts and culture sector of the state. Now joining us via Skype is the CEO of Saffron Travels, Abimbola Ibite. Hello, Abimbola. Hi, Elsie. How are you doing? Meryl, thank you. Thanks for having me on your show. Okay, so as a key player in the industry, um, if you are on this committee or you um, saddled with the uh, responsibility of um, making sure the committee gives the best recommendation, especially regarding tourism, what will you say to them? The state itself is, endo in the, is endowed with a lot of tourist attraction resources that include natural, water-based, cultural, historical, commercial attractions. And in spite of this potential, there are actually a few traces of viable developments in the tourism sector. So basically, if we were to be on this committee, we would suggest that there needs to be a lot more encouraging measures aimed at three specifics. The first being the maximization of the potentials of hospitality. There is a lot of untapped resources in Nigeria, in Lagos states in particular, because we already have the numbers. Um, our Lagos Muritala Mohamed Airport actually has numbers. We have an average of about a million um, um, inbound travels every day. Now, the second will be minimization of maintenance of tourist infrastructures and transportation problems. That is a huge problem for us in Lagos State, even when we are organizing our local tours. Um, local tours meaning um, our recreational tours for maybe our corporate or educational tours for our students, you know. So there needs to be um, um, a minimization of the maintenance of these tourist infrastructures and addressing of the transportation problems. The third would be increased measures to guarantee personal safety in the state. You cannot overemphasize the insecurity issues we have. And this is something we've spoken quite a number of times to the government about. The security needs to be tightened to, to actually keep our, um, our tourists, to make them feel safe such that they would want to do a lot more. So even Nigerians for Nigeria are scared of being tourists in Lagos. They're going to tourist attractions. They are scared. What if our bus gets hijacked? What if this happens to us or something? So I believe if we look at these three key, um, three key um, points, they would go a long way in ensuring that we boost the tourism sector in Lagos State. And bearing in mind, there's a fundamental rule of thumb in tourism industry management, which is, one dissatisfied customer has more influence than 10 content ones. So we need positivity all the way, all the way. It's good that you um, ended with positivity because I think the initiative was about, was pretty much about that to make sure that um, the industry isn't necessarily stocked or whatever. But the, the feedback you're giving is awesome, but these problems are bigger than COVID-19. If anything, it's kind of harder to even make those implementations now. So, um, Talking very simple, layman English here, what is that one thing that they could do right now in the industry that can say, okay, would have a positive effect despite the fact that there's COVID-19 in town? Okay, um, one thing they could do is enhancing the security in the state. It's a big problem. We get feedback from a lot of our um, corporate um, tourists, right? The issue they always have is... Um, security. It's a big deal. If the government can actively show that uh, at this major tourist attraction, we deployed a, um, a number of security operatives there, people will feel safe. Nigerians, you'll be surprised that Lagosians that live in Lagos that do not want to do tourist activities in Lagos State because of this reason. And they are losing a lot of revenue due to these security issues. All right. Thank you so much, Abimbola, for your time. We hope that they would listen and implement these recommendations from you. All right, then. Thank you very much for having me.